All right. All right, now we're into flying. Okay. Any questions before I move on? All right. Um, flying commercial. Um, usually, it's cheaper to fly a commercial airline than it is on a private jet. That is not always the case. We'll talk about that. Um, usually, it's much easier to arrange a flight um, on a uh, public airline than it is to fly on a private jet. Not always the case. Look into both. Um, Skytrax uh, is a really good service online um, for rating airlines. They're um, quite effective. If, you're, if you have to fly an airline that you've never heard of before, if you're going somewhere exotic, Skytrax is really helpful um, in telling you whether or not it's a sketchy airline. Um, if, if you don't get much out of Skytrax, go on Wikipedia. That'll have uh, fleet information. It'll tell you how old their planes are, how big they are. Really, really useful information. Um, essentially what's happening right now in the global airline industry um, you guys probably have heard a lot about what's happening in the US. Um, in Europe, there's a lot of consolidation going on and that's going to negatively affect quality as far as I think. Um, you know, we're talking about reduced schedules, smaller planes, um, you know, uh, angry employees, stuff like that. Um, Asia, you're kind of seeing the opposite. Uh, you're either expanding if you're an airline in Asia or you're going out of business. So out of those who are left, you're seeing really, really cool stuff um, in Asian airlines. Um, they're, they're competing with each other a lot, uh, especially for traffic between Europe and, and Australia. So, um, so right now you have both Emirates and Singapore Airlines um, having first class cabins instead of first class seats. Um, Etihad, which is the other Emirati airline, has taken out the ceilings of all their planes and added in fiber optics so that during night flights you can actually see the constellations above you um, that are actually above the plane right then and there. Uh, I think that's pretty dorky, but I know I get a huge kick out of that. I know people who have flown on the t hut before. Um, if you buy a first-class ticket on Malaysian Airlines right now, um, from, from London Heathrow, they'll pick you up in a helicopter. Uh, same on the other end uh, in KL. Um, there isn't complete information available in the United States over the Internet about every travel destination, uh, especially if it's a country that we have an embargo with. So if you're going to go to Cuba, if you're going to go to Iran, um, there are there are sort of ways around this. Um, so I had to help my brother um, plan this trip to Iran that he's taking right now, um, and he went on kayak and he's like, "Well, why aren't there any flights showing up?" Uh, and I said, "Well, those are blocked from the U.S." So um, one really good tool is actually Wikipedia. If you're going to an exotic location, you don't know what airlines fly there. Type in the name of that airport. Uh, Wikipedia will list out every single airline uh, that flies there. So this is uh, Tehran, and as you can see, you have all sorts of options, and he was able to call one of those airlines directly and book a ticket. Um, another useful tool, uh, has anybody ever used SeatGuru? Yes, all right, I love SeatGuru. Um, so they've got the, um, the cabin layouts of every single airline in the world, basically, and when you're picking your seats online, you can go to this website, you can click on any seat. Of course, I picked the new A380 from Singapore Airlines. Um, so, so all these first class cabins, apparently this first class cabin here, 1A, um, is, is rather bothersome because there's stairs right there, everybody going to the second deck. It, it gives you little tidbits like that so you can make a good choice. Um, great Circle Mapper, uh, this is some guy's uh, high school homepage, but it's this amazing Java tool that uh, gives you the actual route that a plane will fly instead of a straight line um, and the mileage. So this is Chicago to Lisbon and, and that's what it'll look like. And then you can tell what the mileage is if you want to calculate out you know, how many frequent flyer miles you'll earn. Um, and what's also useful on that website, if you're buying a plane, you can say, uh, I think this is, you say I have a plane that can fly 8,000 miles and I'm in London, you know, the, all the area that's not grayed out is that's how far you can go in any direction that's a range um, great tool that's that's on the handout too 